Hi, this is Kevin Ward with Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping real estate agents get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And I want to share a video with you today that's just a clip from a webcast that I did recently that lays out what I call the big picture of real estate success because way too many agents get into real estate and they get focused on just getting the next appointment, getting the next listing, getting the next deal and literally end up spending years and years in real estate and not ever being able to quit, which means they stay broke, even if they're making a lot of money, so many agents stay broke at a high level or stay broke at a mid-level or a low level, which basically means we don't do anything beyond just making a paycheck and pay and, sp and spending it. We make it, we spend it, we make it and spend it. And I think one of the big things that is missing in the real estate industry and in real estate training in general is a focus on helping real estate agents create a plan and strategies for selling a lot of real estate, for producing at a high level, for achieving your goals and dreams, but also having an exit strategy of financial freedom. Because if you want to look at one of the best vehicles for becoming financially free, it's investing in real estate. I mean, it's just one, it is one of the best investment vehicles on the planet for creating passive income and huge amounts of cash flow. Some of the wealthiest people in the world, it's, they did it with real estate. And yet as real estate agents, we are notoriously poor or non-investors. So I want to share with you this video clip. It's from part of a webcast I did. I think you'll enjoy it. And I just want you to have a big picture of your business and start thinking about what do I need to do different so that I can have an exit strategy from this game called real estate. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, feel free to share it, comment on it, like it, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll look forward to talking to you real soon and seeing you on the video. Here you go estate just to sell real estate. You got in real estate to have a life. And if it's not been going quite the way you want it to, it's about to change if your commitment is there because I'm about to give you some tools that will help you do that. Now, but I just want to start with the big picture of where we're going to go and where we're really where where my passion is in helping you go. Let's talk about the big picture of having breakthroughs in your business. First step, if you want to have a breakthrough in 2014 and in your business, first thing you're going to have to do is sell lots of houses. Okay? Why? Because you sell a lot of houses, that's how you get to business, that's how you make money, right? So you get to business. So first thing is you want to sell a lot of houses. The second thing is once you sell a lot of houses, you want to make lots of money. Now the reason I say that is because some people sell a lot of houses and they don't really make that much money. And we're going to talk about that. And then the third thing is, and the most critical is, become financially free. Now, here's the deal. We're going to talk a lot about making money today. And here's the reason. Because most of you, like I said, we didn't get into real estate to sell houses. We got into real estate to have a life. And, and my belief is that if you're going to make money, if you've got to do something to make money, why not do something that will allow you to have the lifestyle you want so that you can have to do for yourself, for the people that you care about, and for others, the things you were put here to do. So we're going to talk about, here's the deal. Let's talk about the big picture. Number one, you got to sell a lot of houses. Number two, you got to make a lot of money. And number three, you want to become financially free. Now, this doesn't mean that you got to quit selling real estate. I mean, well, I don't want to become financially free. I never, I'm never going to retire. Look, if you're sitting there going like, well, I'm never going to retire because I would be bored. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there because the reality is most people that retire and get bored, it's because they don't have enough money to actually do the things they would like to be able to do with their life for themselves and for other people. Okay, but if you've got, if you are truly financially free, which means you have the income to do the stuff you really want to do, it completely changes the game. But here's the bottom line. What I'm interested in is helping people like yourself, helping real estate agents, because that's my world. That's been my world for the last 15 years, is helping real estate, is both me selling a lot of houses and helping other real estate agents build their business and so forth. However, here's what I've discovered. Real estate doesn't have an exit strategy for most agents. It's like there's no retirement plan. I can remember being at a real estate meeting with one of the largest major franchise real estate companies in the United States and the broker getting up and saying, so uh, I, I'm sure some of you would like to retire someday. And what was amazing to me was the laughter in the room. And there was probably like 500 agents in this room. And the laughter was like, yeah, that's going to happen. There's, not, there's no retirement for real estate agents. That was the tone. They came out and I was like, as I'm sitting there, I'm like, it just, a light went on in my head that said, that's wrong. 
is why in the world are you going to work your rear end off? I mean, what, what's your plan when you're 65 years old to be out, you know, trying to trying to get an open house sign to stand up and find a piece of ground that you can drive the stake into or drive the sign into so they won't blow over? Is that your plan? Here's the deal. If you love selling real estate and don't want to stop, I think that's awesome. But wouldn't it be great to come to a position where you don't have to sell a house just to make your house payment? where you've got some financial security, where you can actually, you can take the trips that you want to take. You could be able to pay for your kids' college education. What are some of your dreams and goals that, that having finances that would allow you to do it would really raise the bar in your life? Well, that's what we're talking about. So when we talk about selling a lot of houses, there's two ways you can sell a lot of houses. One is chasing business, which means I'm always just going after another listing, going after another client. This is the just out there pounding the doors, pounding the phones, working harder, working harder, where you're just chasing business non-stop. And if you're not getting enough business, chase more of it, okay? Well, I've got that in red because that's the wrong strategy. What I'm going to talk about is how to build a system that will allow you to sell a lot of houses. Now, you're going to have to chase some business. You're going to have to go out and find some people that are wanting to buy or sell. But as you do that, to leverage every activity that you do, everything that you do to get business to leverage that in a way that it creates more return. So I'm not just going out and finding one person and selling one house. But when I go out and connect with one person, I'm, I'm finding not just a transaction, I'm finding a client. I'm going to talk a little bit about the, a client's lifetime value. I'll, and I'm going to teach you a concept it's called the CLV. I may not have time to talk about it, today, but understanding a client's lifetime value. If you have one person that sells a house with you, they list you list their house and they sell it, well, you paid one time. But what if that person becomes a source of repeat and referral business for the rest of your career? So that's leveraging it in terms of selling a lot of houses, is building a machine, building a system that will allow that to happen. We're going to talk about that. So the second thing is, as we sell a lot of houses, we want to make lots of money because there are two ways to make a lot of, sell a lot of houses in real estate. One is the low profit way, and two is the high profit way. Now, a low profit way is when you're cutting your commissions, when you're spending most of your money on marketing or you're spending it on lead generation and you're spending a ton of your money. So it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. And a lot of agents spend a lot of their money on things that don't really give them leveraged return. So we're going to talk about how to build a business that helps you sell a lot of houses and as you do it to keep more money than you're spending so that you have a high profit margin. Absolutely huge. And then the final step in the strategy is becoming financially free. This is the big picture, guys. Is How, how would you like in 5 to 10 to 12 years to absolutely have financial freedom. Now, how does that happen? Well, there's two strategies that a lot of people use. One is called hope. <laughs> ah, I hope someday I can retire. Okay, can I tell you something? Hope is not a strategy. It's just not a strategy at all. So number two is, is to have a plan that will allow you to invest and create cash flow. So that your passive income eventually pays your bills and supports you so that you have enough money coming every, every month passively, enough cash flow coming in from investments. And, I, you know, hey, you're in the real estate industry. Real estate is the best investment vehicle on the planet for a whole lot of reasons. To be able to, five to ten years from now, not ever have to sell another house again. Can I tell you the biggest problem most agents have with doing this? They never look below this. In fact, a lot of them never look below this. So what I'm going to teach you is we're going to focus on the breakthrough 2014. We're going to focus mostly here and here. But we're going to do it with a view to here so that today, starting today, it's not about getting another listing. It's not about selling it next another house so I can make this month's house payment. It's about putting together a strategy and executing it that will allow me with every house I sell and every dollar that I make to be building a foundation and building a vehicle that will eventually let me be financially free. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something people ask me all the time. Uh, well, they don't ask me all the time, but they ask me about what does Yes Masters mean? And the, the obvious thing is, is becoming a master of getting people to say yes to you. Because here's, here's my heart and here's what Yes Masters real estate success training is really all about. And that is, if you, it's helping you learn how to get other people to say yes to you so that you can become a master of being able to say yes to the things you want in your life. 
so that you can become able to say yes to your kids and yes to your significant other and yes to other causes and things that you want to be able to contribute to so that you can say yes to your dreams and yes to your goals. That's what it's when you become a master of your life. However, to do that, you got to be able to have a vehicle that will allow you to say yes. So when your kids are getting ready to go to college and you want to pay for their college tuition to pay their way through college, and they say, Daddy, can I go to college? And you say, well, no. <laughs> and hopefully you're not ever going to say that, but wouldn't it be great to say absolutely yes and we'll take care of all of it. Now that may or may not be one of your goals, but whatever it is, is what, if you want a new car, to be able to say, yes, I want it, I can have it to be able to get a new house, to be able to take the trips you want to take, to be able to give to your church or synagogue or whatever. If you've got something in your life that you want to achieve to be able to say yes to your dreams and your goals is ultimately more important than anything else. Now here's what Zig Ziglar always said, you can help, you can always get what you want in life if you help enough people, enough other people get what they want in life. So it's about first adding value to other people, that's where you're going to sell so by selling a lot of houses so you can make a lot of money so that you can now have this. But here's the deal. Hope is not a strategy. This is not going to happen without a plan. 